The death has taken place of the former chief executive and chairman of Anglo-Irish Bank, Sean Fitzpatrick, following a short illness. He was 73. The former banker became well known for the role he played in the rapid expansion and subsequent collapse of Anglo-Irish Bank following the property crash over a decade ago. From boom to bust, over three decades, Sean Fitzpatrick's image went from the financial visionary that built a new banking force to controversial figure central to its collapse and bailout. A chartered accountant, he became CEO of Anglo-Irish Bank in 1986 and led its transformation from bit player to the third largest lender in the state. We want to effectively double the size of the bank to take advantage of the clear opportunities uh, which are available in Ireland. Propelled by lending to property developers, the bank's growth coincided with the rise of the Celtic Tiger economy. It was based on a property bubble fuelled by credit from Anglo and others, as well as light touch regulation. Well, the danger of having too much regulation is that you're just going to stifle business and we're not going to have any uh, uh, success and we're not going to have any growth. So what are we going to have then? A situation where, where we're absolutely, uh, you know, uh, totally regulated and nothing happening? Is that what we want? But in 2007, two years after Mr Fitzpatrick moved to the role of chairman, the property crash began to expose the gaping holes in Anglo's balance sheet. And in September 2008, the government was forced to guarantee the country's banks, including Anglo. Speaking days later, Mr Fitzpatrick was unapologetic. The cause of our problems was global. So I can't say sorry with, with any type of sincerity and decency, but I do say a very genuine thank you, because that, was a pr that is right. Anglo was later nationalised at a cost to the taxpayer of over €30 billion. Euro. Mr Fitzpatrick stepped down as its chairman in 2008 amid a probe into the temporary transfer of his own multi-million loans from Anglo to Irish Nationwide Building Society. His first arrest in 2010 garnered significant public attention and he later faced trial twice. First in 2014 over charges related to Anglo's attempt to prop up its share price by lending hundreds of millions of euro to 10 customers to purchase shares in the bank. And for the second time in 2016 over allegations, he misled auditors by not revealing the extent of his personal loans from the bank. In both cases, he was acquitted. Thankfully today, the trial is over. So, as you can appreciate, it's a wonderful day for me and my family. But Mr Fitzpatrick personally faced significant financial losses because of his actions and was declared bankrupt in 2010 with debts of €147 million. Euro. In 2019, he was expelled from Chartered Accountants Ireland, marking the end of a dramatic, ignominious fall from grace for a man known to friends and acquaintances as Shawnee.